Hey y'all, welcome to Kelly's Kitchen. I know some of y'all have been following me for a minute on Facebook with my post on cooking and everything, but I decided to go ahead and create a, a YouTube channel to show um, what I do when I cook, just my recipes so that everyone at home can, you know, enjoy them and, and try something different. So, tonight we are making a surf and turf with rice and green beans. Surf and turf is gonna be shrimp and steak. So here in this bowl, I already uh, peeled and uh, deveined some super colossal shrimp. You can use whatever size shrimp you want, but I use super colossal because we like our shrimp really big. And um, these are raw. You don't wanna use the cooked, you wanna use the raw because we don't wanna overcook them, right? And then I'm gonna go ahead and add to my bowl. This is New York strip that has already been diced up. So we're gonna go ahead and add that to our bowl, okay, here it is. So to it, I'm gonna go ahead and add um, probably one to two tablespoons of olive oil. I measure to um, flavor to my ancestors say is good. So really it's just to, to taste, right? So add in about one to two tablespoons of olive oil. Then I'm gonna add in about one to two tablespoons of garlic powder the garlic powder I use. Then we're gonna add in about mm, one and a half teaspoons of salt. I use the pink Himalayan salt. You can use whatever salt makes your heart happy. Then we're gonna throw in some ground black pepper. So let me tilt that, my light's right in it. Um, black pepper is just, you know, you gotta add that pepper, right? Uh, about one teaspoon. And then we're gonna do about one tablespoon of onion powder. And then we're gonna add in about a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. All these seasonings I just got at Walmart, so if that makes it easy for you. If you don't know where to get them, go to Walmart. About a teaspoon of smoked paprika. I'm just guessing on the amount. Again, I always season the taste, so I go off smell and, smell obviously, because I'm not gonna taste raw meat, because I'm not that weird. <laughs> Then we're gonna do some herbs de Provence. This is a um, seasoning you can get at Walmart. This has a mixture of like fennel, uh, what else is in here, I don't remember. Uh, basil, marjoram, uh, uh, lavender, parsley, rosemary, tarragon. A lot of those seasonings are a little intimidating, but I put about a teaspoon of that. It actually is really, really good. And then I'm just going to take my spoon. I'm just going to go ahead and mix this up. Just toss it around just to get the flavor on everything. Uh, the Herbs of Province seasoning is actually one of my favorite seasonings that you can buy. So I highly recommend it. It gives it a nice uh, flavor. So I'm just tossing that up a little bit. All right. Now it's nice and tossed. I smell my meat. And I know that might be weird, but that's how I tell on, on uh, seasoning. So... It smells good, so <laughs> we're good. So about that on all of it. And then on the rice, I'm just doing a bag of Uncle Ben's Basmati rice. This, you literally just tear about an inch in and let it heat for 90 seconds in the microwave. Simple and easy, you can totally make your own rice, but I'm keeping it simple tonight because why not keep it simple? That's what I'm doing for that. Then for the green beans, I already have here, this is a bag of fine uh, frozen green beans, the Walmart brand. I put a, about five pats of butter on there. A pat is almost a tablespoon, but a half a tablespoon each. And then I'm gonna go ahead and season it real quick. So I'm gonna add in some salt. Um, I don't know, that's probably like one or two teaspoons. I'm gonna add in some garlic powder about one or two teaspoons and about one or two teaspoons of black pepper we're just going to go with those measurements again it's all seasoned to taste um that's how i season so season that up and now i'm going to go ahead and jump over to the skillet and we're going to start cooking our meat and heat our green beans the green beans are going to go in the microwave um and on high for so we'll start it at four minutes and check it until they're done so let's go ahead and get this in the microwave and this in the skillet 
All right, so in a large skillet, I have about four tablespoons of butter and about two tablespoons of uh, minced garlic. I just use the store brand container of it. You can use fresh if you prefer, but why not make it easy when you can, right? Yes, so I'm just letting that melt up on medium high heat. And I have my meat mixture here, right? Um, I wanted to follow up on this. If you don't want it spicy, you're more than welcome to leave out the cayenne. Uh, we like spice up in this home, so I always throw in some sense of spice. So I'm just gonna let this butter and garlic melt together, and then I'm gonna throw in uh, my meat mixture. And then once that starts cooking, then I'll throw my green beans into the microwave. Okay, so my butter and garlic mixture has already melted together, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in my meat mixture of my shrimp and my steak. Uh, if you don't like uh, seafood or steak, you can totally do this with chicken. Uh, whatever you prefer. Uh, we like um, beef and seafood, so we're just doing that together. Um, the other day we made steak and we had uh, left one leftover steak. Uh, so we went ahead and just diced it up and froze it so that we could use it for uh, a different meal. And I went ahead and bought um, some super colossal shrimp because one steak between the two of us wasn't quite enough, uh, mainly for him, but you know, it is what it is. So now I'm just gonna saute this up and let it cook. And uh, while it is cooking, I am just gonna Hang on a minute. All right, now that my meat is mostly done, I'm gonna go ahead and throw my green beans into the microwave for starting at four minutes and adjust it accordingly. And while my green beans are going, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heat down to low so that the meat doesn't overcook. Okay, so it took a total of six minutes on the green beans and now I'm gonna go ahead and add in my rice to the microwave for 90 seconds. And I do want to apologize on any delay. Uh, I totally got the hiccups <laughs> while filming this video. And I did not want y'all to hear me hiccuping through the meal making. So I had to like stop for 10 minutes <laughs> while the meat was cooking to get rid of the hiccups. I finally got rid of them with some pickles. Thank God. So now we're just finishing up everything so that <laughs> we can actually serve our plate. Okay, our rice is done. I have turned off the skillet and now it's time to plate our meal. And here you have a simple and easy surf and turf dinner of shrimp, steak, rice, and green beans. Enjoy.